Hello everybody, uh, Louis here. Today I have a special add-on feature in the channel. We'll be talking about Capsule, uh, a Blender add-on specially made for batch exporting lots of props and assets out of Blender for game engines such as Unity and Unreal Engine. So, if you're a game developer, this is by far the best add-on you can get for your uh, tool shelf. So let's go. First, I will showcase how we can uh, install it. And it's simple like that. Just let me remove it temporarily. Um, you, you, you come here to add-ons, uh, install add-on from file, and you will download a, um, basically a capsule uh, zip it file you don't need to unzip it at all you just click it and select the dot zip file install from add-on and that's it the modules are successfully uh, installed then you just activate it right here and save user settings you notice that we have now capsule here in the tool shelf let's say you want to batch export a bunch of different assets to the same location you can add a location here first and select the file path here that you want. So uh, be in checking relative path here. Uh, if you're not using uh, a path inside of Unity or other game engine, select it and accept. Now we have a new file location here. And with this, we can come here on the top and select um, the file location we will be batch exporting. Not from here, This this menu here is just for you to create your file paths and here to select it. Um, another cool thing this add-on has is actually export presets. You can come here on the add-on preferences. And here we have, for example, uh, everything that is set over the uh, Unreal export preset. Here uh, you can also create your own presets and we have a couple of options here like you can uh, export object types such as camera, lamp, uh, geometry with tangent space, armature, animation, basically everything that a basic FBX export has. Uh, you can also set custom tags. So basically when you name your assets here on the outliner, you have, you can, um, attach mesh suffixes and also naming, um, conventions to it. Here we can select how to filter the high poly and low poly meshes as, uh, checkboxes. And also we have extra settings such as focus, uh, select and known for additional list options. Uh, that being said, let's export this couple of assets here. Let's say select all of the objects and click here on this option named enable export. Uh, be sure that every single object is properly named. Otherwise, uh, this will be really confusing when it gets time for you to export them. So now when you have all the objects selected, just click export. And now it will uh, batch export all of them. Now when everything is done, we have all the uh, FBXs exported as separate files here. Uh, we can now seamlessly drop them into Unity and start building our next project with it. If we simply shift select all the files and drag them out to this folder, we will be having all the files here as FPXs. So here we are in Unity and as you can see, we can start putting our props into the project. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, a special thanks for Tekeno, the original author of this Blender add-on. Thanks so much, guys. Uh, consider subscribing if you want to learn more about this content. And until next time.